Do you know a lot about Marvel Comics? Sure. What do you know about Rick Jones? <laughs> He's a singer, right? I think he is. <laughs> Rick Jones was out on the nuclear testing range like an idiot. Yeah, Bruce Wayne like pushed him out of the way or something. Bruce Wayne did that. Bruce Wayne. <laughs> and there was some villain that was causing random effects. This is complicated. The, stupid, right. Okay. But the villain was causing chaos. Random things were happening mm -hmm. instead of what it was expected to happen. The Rick Jones is trying to call the Fantastic Four. And instead of the Fantastic Four, he gets Ant-Man, the Wasp, Thor... An Iron Man. So like most of the Avengers. No, that was it. That was that's the origin of the Avengers. Oh. When they thaw Captain America from the ice in Avengers four or five, whatever. Yeah. What had he been frozen for several years since the fifties, or had he been frozen since World War Two? This might not be totally accurate, but it was something It's, it's called, cool to talk about shit and not know anything about it. It well, yeah. We all know bits and pieces of things, right? Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm, that's what this whole show is about. I want a show with Chris Evans as Captain America in the 1950s with Sharon Carter called The Weird Tales of Captain America. Like crime stories and like romance and like weird stories and sort of like horror stories with Captain America and and Peggy Carter. Did I say Sharon Carter? Peggy Carter in the 1950s. Who's Sharon Carter? That's her like Oh. Great niece or something? Yeah. Grand Blonde? Something. Bucky died? Captain America took Bucky's uniform and he dressed up Rick Jones as Bucky and he started calling Rick Bucky. <laughs> <laughs> That's bizarre. Right? Was that isn't that like, doesn't America? that sound unhealthy to you? Yeah. Like, that, <laughs> I think that was the Captain America that was in Hydra, probably. Oh, God. <laughs> Rick Jones and Captain Marvel are quantum entangled. Only one of them can exist at once. Wait. So unlike Shazam. Unlike Shazam. It's not like a person that gets superpowers. It's a person. No, Shazam is also a different person. Shazam is like a child. He like, he's like, oh, but he, does he become a big buff man? Yeah, like, like Tom. And Hanks then the buff big. man acts like a child. It's you know who, the, what the Beyonder did. He took all the heroes and the villains and put them on Battle World and made them fight. Oh, Secret Wars. Yeah. 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 He's only just, he's just, he just goes around and plays games and fucks with he's people. A turd. But he met Rick Jones and Rick Jones had cancer and Be the Beyonder was like, yo, fuck, you're Rick Jones. You can't have cancer. You're cured. Seriously? Yeah. The Beyonder cured the Beyonder Rick Jones. The Beyonder was just cancer? like, you're fine, Rick Jones. Wow. Rick Jones is a badass motherfucker. Rick Jones wrote. An autobiography, and he called it Sidekick. <laughs> Rick Jones is great. Does that book exist? I, I wish it would. Yeah. I, someone should write it. That? Holy that shit, great. yeah. About 10 years ago, Captain America, in, I think maybe at the end of the first Civil War story, the first comic series called Civil War. Now there's like Civil War 2. There's Secret War Civil War. There's like a couple other Civil War comics. I think in the first one, Captain America is killed at the end. His pallbearers were Ben Grimm, <coughs> Ms. Marvel, at Carol Danvers, the Falcon, the Black Panther, Tony Stark, and you guessed it, Rick Jones. So I want to, yeah, so I'm going to have to tell Which you. doesn't make sense. We're going to have to tell you about Rick Jones because in order to start, basically, if I wanted to start talking about comic books and covering comics... One of the first things we have to talk about is Rick Jones.